Welcome back to Disaster Kitchen and today we're going to show you all how to make some Trinidad style sorrel or sorrel juice which is a beverage people usually uh, reserve for Christmas time but my choice is you know you don't need to wait, wait for a specific time of year to enjoy this beverage so I, am I have decided to make this to show you all alright so here we go with Trinidad style sorrel juice. Yeah. Now when you purchase your sorrel, you'll get in a state like this and you want to get it like this, you know, have it clean and cut like so. But when you purchase it, it will be like this. Now in order to get it nice and clean, use a knife. Normally you'll use a knife smaller than this. We use a knife First you remove these little prickly parts here, like so, with your finger, just like that, easy enough, and then you use the knife to cut right around the edge, or right around this area here, alright, just like that, and you just remove this. And this is the part, this is the part that you're going to use to make the, the beverage. And so you get it like that, and that's the way you get it to this. And this, you could save this as well, uh, so that when it dries out, you could get to plant it and grow your own sorrel tree, and you could get to pick your own sorrel, and of course make your own beverages with it. Of course, juice is not the only beverage, but uh, that's for another time. So yeah, you save these if you want to plant and grow your own sorrel in your garden. So now that my sorrel is all cleaned and prepped, um, we purchased the sorrel in the market for about $20. And after I finish cleaning, the amount of sorrel going to weigh about one pound, which is, isn't bad. So I'm going to put this to boil in about two and a half liters of water and I'm going to let that boil for about 20 minutes or so to make sure that I can get as much of the color and the taste out of the sorrel and into the water to make the juice in this case but yeah and a little side note yeah we used to eat this raw actually as children you could actually just consume this as it is but it's not very pleasant it was just a little fun thing we used to do every now and again so this is going to be boiled in roughly two and a half liters of water. Alright, so there's the sorrel there. You're going to need a large boiling pot of course. So there's the sorrel in the boiling pot there. I'm going to put my water in. I'm going to put the water in about two and a half liters like I said. You don't want to have too much water because then you know you may not have enough sorrel for you to get enough of the sorrel flavor in your beverage. So you want to make sure it's not too much water. But with one pound of sorrel, one pound of cleaned sorrel, two and a half liters should be enough. Alright. And I'm going to let this boil for about 20 minutes or so and we have a look at it when it reaches that stage All right. so here it is folks boiling away and you can see how it's turning a little bit red hmm. and the um, sorrel is going to start to lose its color as the color is going to start to go from the sorrel to the water as it boils I'm gonna get this kind of red, but it's not quite there yet. I'm gonna let it boil a little while again. Alright, so here we are. It's been a little more than 20 minutes, about 20, about 22 minutes, 23 minutes, somewhere there. And I think I have what I want now. This is what it looks like thus far. 
And honestly, this camera, uh, you need to excuse me because I'm using a point and shoot camera now. My other camera is busted. And this is what we boiled along to. Yeah, so this is what the sorrow looks like right now. And I am pretty happy with it. So I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to pour this out in a mug and let it cool. Well, or you might call it a jug. And I'm going to let that cool, and then when it's cool, then you move on to the next stage. So I'm going to pour everything into this container here, and this is strain. I'm going to use it fits well on top of it here, just like that. And I'm going to pour the contents from the pot into this container. Of course, I'm going to strain out all the soil uh, so that it wouldn't be in the container. That's why I'm using this to make sure I separate the soil from the juice that I want. That's a lot of milk. Oh, Michael, that's smoking my milk something. You know when I was bathed? And as Joshua was so enthusiastic to point out, I made a lot of mess. I, I should have done it in a sink, but I wanted to get to show the process. It'll, it'll remain what it is. So it's, there's where it is right now. Michael. This is the soil here. And I'm going to leave this, let it sit and cool, and then we're going to move on to the next stage because as it is, you can't drink. So I separated the soil, the pulp or the sepals themselves from the water, and this is how much it is right now. All right, so this right now that's very hot, and this is what it looks like now. It's no longer the dark red, vibrant color that it used to be. That's because along with the taste. The color has left the sepals and is now in the water and it's cooling right now. Alright, so we're going to leave that to cool. I might take what, about 45 minutes to an hour or so and then we we'll move on to the next stage from there. Now then, so my sorrel has already cooled and I am about to sweeten it. And of course I'm going to be sweetening this to taste and everyone is uh, you know going to be different on how sweet they want it or not. But uh, I'm going to be using brown sugar and I think two cups of this brown sugar, yeah two cups of this brown sugar should be good. We're going to just uh, stir this until the sugar dissolves, of course. Right, so there it is. It is exactly the way I want it to be. It tastes the way I want it to taste. Nice and sweet. And now I'm going to put this to chill. And that's the way you want, to, that's the way you want this to be served. You want it to be served nice and chilled. Maybe with a few blocks of ice that would be superb Here we have some frozen orange juice, some frozen sorrel juice. I poured the sorrel in a glass, then topped it off with the orange juice. I garnish with a slice of lime, and there you have it. Enjoy!